Yay, here I am one hour later in Macau. First thing that's striking me is the fact that all the signs are in Chinese, English and Portuguese or Spanish. I'm not really too sure, but it's uh, definitely different to the mainland. Why are all the signs in Macau in Portuguese? Because it used to belong to Portugal. The governing language in Macau is Congolese. And I'm just checking now and yes, Macau was the colony of Portugal for 400 years and only given back to China 20 years ago. So I'm really interested to see how much Portuguese influence you can still see in Macau today. Taurus mode activated. So I feel like this is the Portuguese area here. I'll just try to get there. Whoa, I found myself in the heart of the old Portuguese district and you'd be forgiven for thinking you were actually in Portugal right now. Every street you can see influence of Portuguese. Uh, and yeah, I'd have to agree with that statement. I'm absolutely in love with the pastel colored buildings here, the cobblestone streets, the old school street signs. It's got such a European feel. But for me, one of the most Portuguese things I'm seeing here in Macau are the egg tarts. I see them absolutely everywhere. I know they're Portuguese because last year I was in Portugal and I ate a lot of them. So I guess the Portuguese didn't just leave their buildings here in Macau, but uh, some great food. But by no means is Portuguese the only cultural influence here in Macau. Apart from the beautiful Portuguese buildings, you've also got some amazing examples of traditional Chinese architecture. Like the one behind me here. This was built like... Actually, here's a little description of what this place here is. This is Ama Temple and it says here that Ama Temple already existed before the city of Macau came into being. So I guess that means this temple was here before anything Portuguese came to Macau. So I guess you could say Macau is like this Sino-Portuguese, East meets West, cross-cultural vibe and I love it. It's so vibrant and exciting and you never know what's around the next corner. So now that we've seen the cultural side of Macau, let's look at the other reason why Macau is so famous. It starts with C and rhymes with Bazino. So as it turns out, Macau is the Las Vegas of Asia. Gambling's not so much my thing, I'm more here for the pretty lights. Hey guys, so I know it looks like I'm in Venice right now, but I'm actually inside the Venetian Casino here in Macau and it's crazy. There is literally a full-sized mall inside this casino modeled after Venice. Look, there are even gondolas here and they sing. <laughs> blue sky it's got to be one of the craziest things I've seen and oh my these casinos are fancy this hotel and casino here the Grand Emperor Hotel is partly owned by Jackie Chan and there's something I wanted to show you guys because look here there are literally bars of gold in the floor And I guess all of these tourism and entertainment options here in Macau is very, very good for the local economy. And I can kind of deduce that by the number of gold and jewelry stores here in Macau. On this stretch of road, I literally can't see one store that isn't a jewelry or watch store. Like, how many Cha Thai Phuc stores does one city need? Another one. It's incredible. And just like that, my day in Macau is over. I've had such a wonderful day. Um, I really, really love this city.